Hello and welcome to Indie Investigations. My name is James Bartholomew and today we're looking at a game called Root, which is a, what looks to be, a first person shooter set in a world of hackery. It's a stealth, so first thing I'm going to do here is a, boop, knock him out and grab his gun. Okay. So, yeah, so we're basically inside program right now. We're trying to hack it, I guess. What if I stores 101? All right, so, he's, so that's how, that's basically the, the guy talking to me is essentially the shell program. It's actually called the ship. Shit. Shooting feels good. Quite a heavy tutorial you go through. Maybe about 10 levels. Tells about stuff. Quite high desks. I guess they're standing desks, aren't they? Almost no sound, though. I'm wondering if they're trying to make it seem scarier. We can run, pressing tab, we'll go back into running. I like sneaking around though, because it makes me feel like I'm less likely to run into a bad guy. Yeah, this back to the room that we were just in, isn't it? Yep, okay. Shift is kick, F is inter- You can interact with quite a lot of stuff, like you pick stuff up. You can drink from some stuff. You can use, uh, there's a bathroom in the tutorial which basically said, hey, you can interact with most stuff. Although, now that I'm in this room, it looks like you can't interact with most stuff. Oh, there's a, or a I heard him moving. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I don't know where he came from. I got some music going. Okay. Suspenseful music, too. Okay. Let's press tab. That's. What's that? Loving this. This is good music. Okay. Right, so, tab. I keep pressing shift to sprint, which isn't the right button at all. It's uh, shift is kick. Tab toggles you between. I remember telling me how to. Sp yeah, there we go. I don't remember being told how to swap between weapons, but it looks like it's the uh, middle mouse button. I don't know where I'm going either. Now, all right, so I've been hit. When you hear any enemy footsteps moving around, but no, this feels good. It feels like a a competent first person. I hear someone. There he is. Okay, I'm going to get up behind him and blackjack him. Save us some ammo. So the blackjack, what I've learned, is a one-shot kill against at least these guys. These are the only guys I've seen so far. You go up behind them, and you go. Oh, there we go. And you just knock them out like that. No one down there yet. And this is the door we came through earlier. Yep, yeah. okay. Well, we went right though, didn't we? We've got a guy in there. Oh, shit, he's on me. No iron sights from what I've seen. It's a window. I'm wondering. Shit, I heard something. I heard either some motion or someone talking. I don't hear anything now, so. It was like a 
police station almost, doesn't it? I don't necessarily know what our goal is, but the game is definitely a first-person shooter. It's definitely a, oh, not, not a fast-paced one. It's a slow-paced, sneaking around first-person shooter, but it's a competent first-person shooter. I'd say it's a good first-person shooter, at least so far. I want to see where further levels take us. That is not someone that I've killed, I don't think. Or maybe it is. I don't know if this is a lift, so let's pop up here. Let's end the first level. Cool. Yeah, I'm digging this. Music, art style. I actually made it, I'm surprised it didn't catch you. This is Shell. This is the guy that's in charge. And some typos, which I don't like. I don't really like the way this is laid out. Probably use some navigation ventilation shaft. Okay. Like he ends all his messages with end EOF, which is end of file, I guess. Okay, so we can go through there. We can sneak through the vents up. Oh, let's show off the stealth then. Oh, in fact, let's test the stealth. Oh wow. Okay, so that guy heard me moving the boxes. You see him come through there? Like you can hit. Like that Shell talks to you and he's kind of snarky about it. I do wish. That I had more, um. Shit. Alright, so Blackjack only works if you hit him in the back of the head. So I kind of think my gun is supposed to, is kind of like interrupting them because notice when I hit them, they kind of get like that little stun effect on them, right? That stealth didn't work at all, did it? Stuff's kicking off. Right, so that those. I wish there was a way to use iron sights on the gun. Well, I guess not having that makes it kind of feel more doomy. All right, here we go. I like you can hear their footsteps. It gives you an opportunity to actually listen. And actually pay attention to your surroundings. It feels a lot makes it feel a lot less fast than your traditional if there's a guy up there. I can't tell they can see me while I'm peeking. I don't think they can. I guess we'll find out. It doesn't look like it, okay. This guy and we'll go back into the vents. I could probably sne have sneaked past him, but I don't like the idea of leaving someone behind me like that. And also, ammo. Looks like ammo carries on between levels, so. I see no reason to not collect as much as possible because, oh god, oh, there's a guy up there. Oh, he's sad. Why is he sad? No matter, he's not, he'll be more sad now. There's key cards and stuff. This is it's a it's a first person shooter. You have to go and get key cards, unlock doors, and you have to. All right, there's a guy up there. Can I make it to him before he turns around? No. Oh, this could have been a mistake. Oh, there we go. Did it. Alright, so you can hear your own footsteps, and it kind of throws me for a loop sometimes, because I can't always tell. Where am I? Oh god, footsteps. Damn it! Okay, so you guys can see. Mistakes will get you killed. 
No, but it's not overly punishing. It's it's very well. No, oh, back at the beginning of the level. Okay. So shoot, that guy's coming, isn't he? Okay, see so if we go through the whole level without without shooting anyone. So we've got that door there. We have a guy that was up there, didn't we? I don't remember where he was, though. Oh, God. Never mind. It does look like just running through and shooting, like running and gunning, doesn't work. That it will get you killed because of how strong the enemies are. Enemy to my left. But also because you can't. It takes a quite a few shots to kill one. And so. If you're not consist, if you're surprised by a couple of them, you're not going to make it. So you can shoot computers, and they will. Oh, maybe not. In the tutorial, they. Oh god, that was a bad idea. That was my my fault. Okay, so vents, sneak, 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 sneak. So that guy's behind us. Now we're in here. What, did he teleport? I think he teleported back to his... Oh god, okay. Not entirely sure how that guy up there saw me, but... Yeah. Let's get the idea. It's a very slow-paced first-person shooter that, that is that promotes hiding, using your corners, taking your time, which I'm obviously not doing right now. And stealth. Stealth is important. It's a cool little blackjack. I don't know if blackjack's a real thing. I keep hearing about them. Okay, so yeah, they do teleport back into position. That's pretty cool. guy up there. Okay, so now he's behind that wall. I can probably sneak up here. Nope. Hello. It doesn't like you can... Alright, so it looks like they'll go looking for you, and if you miss... If they miss you, they'll return back to their route. That's... That's cool. And also... The speed and the noise of them stomping towards you is scary. All right, do you see me? Here comes another one. It definitely rewards stealth. Definitely reward stealth. But it doesn't make it so punishing that you can't shoot. You just have to be on point with your shooting. And actually make sure that each shot hits. I reckon that once you get... Uh, once you get more guns, more powerful weapons, there'll be more powerful enemies, so maybe that'd be different. But for now, it feels like both methods are rewarding enough to try both. No, there's a guy down there, don't we? But we're not going to bother with him. The sad guy was.
it does seem like you sneak much faster than you move when you're standing. So that's something to keep in mind. Like if you're sneaking and crouched, you move pretty far. Oh, well, there's no difference really. I think this is a great, great first person shooter, and I'm, I will play more of this. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think it's very well laid out. It's, it's the art style's great. Not too. Oh God. Okay. One of the things they say in the first level was, I recommend you check all your doors before going through them. That would have helped there. I do wish I wasn't having to uh, crouch to pick up those weapons, but I do think that could be just a mechanic of where the gun, or a problem with the guns have been falling now. Alright, so here we go. This is a bit we died on last time, isn't it? With the vents we had. I hear footsteps. Don't entirely know how I'm still up here. It's because I'm kind of like sitting on the geometry there, but okay. Oh god. I got stuck in the geometry, okay. I can move. I'm pretty sure this is the exit here. Nope. Shit. Damn it! Anyway. You guys get the idea. This is Root, and it's a great little slow, slow-paced first-person shooter. Um, but believe it's out on Steam this time. And uh, I think you should check it out. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Difficult. It's hard, but it's rewarding. Um, yeah. As always, my name is James Bartholomew, and I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Until next time. Have fun, and keep it indie. Bye bye for more videos the video on your left is a video that i've recorded previously as part of this series and on your right is a video from a separate series that i also think you guys deserve to watch if you enjoyed what you're watching hit the subscribe button and follow me on twitter at atiagbos or visit our website www.initiativecheck.com thanks for watching and there should be another video up for you to enjoy tomorrow